Welcome. It's the Jenkins Governance Board meeting. This is the 29th of April, 2024. Thanks for joining us. So we've got topics for the agenda today include upcoming calendar, uh, news items, action items, community activity, governance topics, and on the governance topics, trademark request approval, Azure expense status has had a change, AWS credits largely unchanged. Oh no, I take it back, AWS credits as well, and then spring, end of public support. Any other topics? Excuse me, I made a trip to visit family this weekend and apparently have become sick. So I apologize if I periodically mute my microphone in order to have a coughing fit. Sorry about that. Oh, it's no worries. All right, so let's go ahead then. And in terms of upcoming calendar, we've got the next weekly re release is coming out tomorrow. And uh, several, several interesting improvements and more likely coming in future releases. Read the read the change log upcoming, etc. Next LTS, Alex is the release lead. Thanks, Alex, in advance for doing that. Kevin Martins is has submitted the uh, the change log and the upgrade guide. And thanks very much to Kevin as well. I'm not aware of any other major events. I am talking at a conference in in Denver in a week or two, but it's not actually about Jenkins. It's more about overall contributing to open source. On the news part, uh, Jenkins Google Summer of Code application has been submitted. And Google will announce the selected projects May 1st, 2024. So we won't know, and we certainly will not preemptively announce something before they do. We hope to be accepted that one or more of our project proposals that we've submitted will be accepted. The Jenkins Awards were announced at CDCon on Wednesday, 17th of April. Congratulations to Darren Pope as Most Valuable Jenkins Advocate. Stefan Speaker as Most Valuable Jenkins Contributor, and Yanav Nizri as Jenkins Security MVP. Thanks again to all three of those. The, the candidate pool was quite impressive, and those are where the votes came. Thanks very much to all those contributors. In terms of action items, I had the action item to submit our application for the 2025 AWS Open Source Credits Program. They've accelerated their request for these applications they intend to announce them in the, the recipients in june of 2024 and so we hope very much to be recipients of one of those awards june 2024 is the expected announcement date any questions on the aws application i think i copied it to the board so you saw the you saw the details that I included in there. Account numbers, account names, proposed amount is the same year as same amount as this year's donation. Uh, we could have used more, but I didn't feel like I was ready to say let's ask for more until we're consuming it, and can persuade them. Yes, we're consuming it even at a faster rate than we hoped. We have the action item on the attribution entries page for the downloads. For downloads for Jenkins sponsors. Basel, anything you'd like to share there? No, it's the same as last time. I'm still hoping to get to this though. Okay. And Kevin Martin's retire the Jenkins site. This one I is also the same as last time. The big action item is on me. I've got to create some Kubernetes environment that I can use to test drive the before where the Jenkins site, the Chinese Jenkins site is there, and the after when it's been deleted. Next topic was community activity, and I'm in the community spotlight this week, and Kevin Martins will be next week, or the next spotlight. I guess it happens every two weeks. On governance topics, so I had submitted a trademark request, uh, trademark request approval. Now this is 
because of our rules with Linux Foundation compliance, it's actually not strictly required, but I was a little nervous. And so I submitted a request for Jenkins as a service by CloudBees. And we've got all four of the board members who are present here today who agreed that, yes, that is an acceptable use of the trademark per the Linux Foundation trademark guidelines. Anything that any of the other board members want to highlight or others would like to highlight on that trademark request? We haven't had one of these in a long time, but I think um, I remember seeing one a few years back about Kubernetes, right? Was that the last time that we had one of these requests? Yeah, I think it was, it may have been the Jenkins operator, which was a right. Kubernetes thing. Yes. So this is consistent with what we did the last time as well. It is, as far as I know. I, I And now one of the things I could have poked and prodded Kosuke to get five out of five board members, and I didn't do that. Uh, I thought four out of five was already good enough, and we go ahead. That sounds fine to me. Great. All right. So then the next topic then is this Azure expense status. And this is a change from, from our last meetings. What happened was Damien Duportal detected that the Azure donation on their billing page was listed to expire May 31, 2024, but had almost 30, it had over $30,000 remaining to be spent. If it was going to expire May 31, we would leave an awful lot of money unused. We contacted Microsoft and after about three weeks, we got a response back. Oh yes, it would expire May 31st. We can extend it up to August 31st, but not beyond that. So they've agreed, they have extended it to August 31. But what that means is in order to not leave some of that money on the table, the infrastructure team is going to accelerate their use of Azure resources and decrease their use of AWS and DigitalOcean resources between now and August 31. Then after the August 31 expiration, they will increase their use of, they will drop from using the Microsoft donation and will increase their use of AWS and DigitalOcean at that time. So it's a little more complicated, but it's what we've got to do because we can't adjust this expiration date any further than August 31. Any questions on that one? Okay, the magic of, of donated resources. We have to be flexible. On the AWS credits, we've, we've received them and Damien's already started work to consume, begin consuming them. The amount of that consumption will be much smaller through August 31 because we're going to shift as much as we can uh, ci.jenkins.io transient resources, ephemeral resources onto the Microsoft donation to try to use those funds instead of using AWS credits. And then after August 31, we'll use AWS credits. And the AWS credit application has been submitted and spring security, end of public support. Really, this is unchanged since the last time we met. It's that the last build of spring security 5.8 will be August of 2024. And Spring Security 6.x requires Jetty 11 or Jetty 12 with Jakarta EE9 and Java 17 minimum. So in our transition to Java 17, after we transition to Java 17, we'll be transitioning at some point to Spring Security 6. Any comments or questions there? All right. Any other topics we need to discuss in board meeting today? For the uh, cloud migration, we're mostly using Kubernetes to run all of our jobs, I think. So it doesn't really, uh, it, it's sort of like an abstraction layer that allows us to move between these clouds more easily. So that, that shouldn't be too disruptive, if, if even noticeable at all. It, you're correct. Yeah. One of... The one complication that Damien noted was that there's an artifact caching that happens in some of the builds that was previously using S3 buckets. And we may, during the, the Azure usage, may want to switch it to cache them right on ci.jenkins.io that is already inside Azure. But you're right, it is, it is mostly create a new Kubernetes cluster, use capacity from that cluster, and let it run. Yeah, it, it's he's he's I think enthused by the thrilled by the the way it looks like it will be pretty easy to use this uh, to accelerate our use of Azure's donation 
and then afterwards accelerate the use of the AWS and digital ocean donations. Yeah, in practice, we've seen slight differences between these clouds, but uh, not when not when all of the artifacts are available locally. So uh, I think they are at this point all available locally. We're not we're not fetching anything from the public internet in our builds, which is where we saw these big differences. Yep. So this Good. should be great. Excellent. Any other topics for today? All right. Recording will be available in about 24 hours. Thanks very much.